Hey babes, what's up and good morning you guys. So you guys already know why we're here from the title. Fenty has finally released Fenty Skin. I did partake in the early access which was literally a race okay a race to the finish line i mean the fenty skin website and the fenty beauty website were crashing like crazy you guys were breaking the internet for fenty skin so let me just show you guys because clearly i'm excited so this is the box that it came in and this is how it comes it just says fenty skin on the box really cute really simple only thing i did this morning was brush my teeth i did not wash my face at all i want a true experience i don't want to wash my face already and then it's not the same thing so i am oily i have dirt on my face okay i went out last night and everything so i know there are a lot of people that were excited about fenty skin and then there was a lot of people that were skeptical about fenty skin being that whenever a beauty brand decides they want to do skincare it gets a little rough because skincare there's a lot more to it I'm not gonna lie I am skeptical you guys know I'm a huge Fenty fan I don't want to love it just because it's Fenty and it's Rihanna I want to give you guys a clear and honest review like I'm all about my skin and I do have skin problems mainly um dark spots but other than that you know my skin problems are very minimal I definitely feel like the claims that Fenty Skin is making about their skincare trio that it needs to be tried out over a long period of time and this is more so just a you know initial review and just an initial reaction and initial feelings you know what I'm saying alright guys so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go over everything that comes in this Fenty Skin trio so the first thing we have here is the Fenty Total Cleanser, Remove It All Cleanser. And this is basically a cleanser that's supposed to, of course, break down makeup and also cleanse your skin. Next we have the Fenty Skin Fat Water. And this is a pore refining toner serum. Super excited about this. I don't have huge pores, but I definitely have a few like on my nose that kind of bother me. So hopefully, you know, that works out. And then the last thing we have is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer Bronzer spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen and it comes in this box so it looks like assembly is required so let's open it up so when you open it up it looks like that in the inside you just pop it open and then in the inside let's see in the inside you have the part where you load the sunscreen into looks like that Okay, and then you have the refillable moisturizer in the inside. This is actually really cool. I really like the fact that this is refillable. So usually like refillables are a little bit cheaper than buying the whole thing all over again. So basically all you do, you're going to line this up, put that in and line the nozzle up and push it in. And there you go. The bottom here, I think you just twist it down. Yep, twist it down and twist it up. Really cool. Really like that. All right, so first we're going to, of course, start by talking about the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser, Remove It All Cleanser, and clearly that's the first step in any of our routines, so I am going to refer straight from the Fenty website. So according to the Fenty website, it says this is hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying. It's a daily cleanser and makeup remover all in one. Now, honestly, you guys, I typically do not care to use cleansers as a makeup remover because for one, literally you go through so much product especially when you are wearing a lot of makeup that day let's talk about the main ingredients that she is highlighting as far as what's in this cleanser so of course she said it has Barbados cherry it says every cherry is loaded with more vitamin C than an orange to help brighten it has Jinko Bill Loba, a tree commonly used in ancient Chinese healing techniques, helps control oil and clarify skin. It has green tea, which is rich in antioxidants to help defend against environmental stressors. It has fig, a desert loving fruit that's rich in antioxidants. And then it has a fruit called quince. It is a rare fruit. It says, think of an apple meeting a pear that thrives in rough, dry climates infused with minerals to help condition. They did end up testing this product on women. So it says, in a consumer study of 54 women after one use, 
Okay, one use girl. This is what she says. 98% of users agree thoroughly cleanses and refreshes the skin. 98% of users agree that it cleanses pores. 98% of users agree it removes dirt and oil. 92% of users agrees that it removes makeup. All right, so let's move on to the Fenty Skin Fat Water, which is supposed to help with refining pores. And I can actually tell just by looking in the bottle, this has a little bit of a thicker texture. So it says the fat water is supposed to instantly refine the look of pores, reduce the look of dark spots, even skin tone and fights shine without stripping the skin now you guys know I struggle with dark spots so to me that's very interesting because I'm hoping that this toner will help with my dark spots because it will definitely become something in rotation in my skincare if it happens to do that so it has niacinamide it helps reduce the look of dark spots even skin tone and fight excess shine so again it has Barbados cherry it says cherry is loaded with more vitamin C than the orange to brighten the skin it has Australian lemon myrtle in witch hazel water which helps reduce oil and refine pores it has Japanese raisin tree it has been used for over a thousand years in Asia as a recovery treatment for long nights of partying and helps detoxify. It has cactus flower, thrives in the desert and helps hydrate. And it has green tea and fig, which is rich in antioxidants to help defend against environmental stressors. Okay, so it says instantly reduces oil on skin and improves the look of pores. Over time, reduces the look of dark spots. Now, they don't specifically have a time period where it claims you will see a reduction in dark spots. And then it says over one week, 96% of users agree it leaves the skin feeling fresh. 94% of users agree it absorbs quickly. 90% of users agree it purifies and softens skin. 94% of users agree it improves skin clarity. 93% of users agree it brightens skin. 94% of users agree it creates healthy looking skin. 93% of users agree it leaves skin looking more even. And 91% of users agree it plumps the skin and hydrates. And for this one, it was 54 women over eight weeks. So our last and final product is the Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer, and it has an SPF of 30. All right, so it says here, light is air hydration, invisible sun protection, defends and brightens the skin while reducing the look of pores. And then it says made with coral reefs. Never had anything made with coral reefs in it, so I think that's super interesting to know so it says this is a light as air all day hydration meets universal SPF 30 protection it's pink tinted cream applies invisible on all skin tones we're talking zero chalkiness plays well with makeup absorbs instantly to smooth and soften skin without looking or feeling greasy plus it won't peel or ball up no flashback either it has a kalahari melon a wild melon that's rich in antioxidants vitamins helps hydrate it has niacinamide which helps reduce the look of dark spots even skin tone and fight excess shine it has hyaluronic acid and alloy helps hydrate soothe and condition and the final ingredient is about is balab balabab I can't pronounce it. It's an African tree that bears nutrient rich super fruit and helps hydrate. So they did 52 women over eight weeks and they said instantly hydrates, improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Hmm. Well, I don't have that problem right now, so I'm good. And then it says over time, reduces the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles, improves skin firmness and elasticity. Hmm. And then it has, after one week, 100% of users agree it softens skin. 100% of users agree it doesn't peel under makeup. 98% of users agree it works well with makeup, allowing for effortless application. 96% of users agree blends invisible with their skin tone. And 96% of users agree it leaves the skin feeling smoother. Okay, so... Riri is basically trying to cover everything from dark spots to 
oil control to anti-aging in three products you guys i'm not gonna do this in my bathroom because it was just too much trying to maneuver like camera and lights in there like I wasn't for it let me go get some water really quickly oh okay so with this it's not a twist top it actually opens and closes like with a click actually a squeeze tube so you're just gonna squeeze it right into your hand Basically, what I will do I will of course wet my face first so I do have like an extra towel here to dry my face wet skin work into a lather rinse okay so it doesn't say how much to take usually I like to do like you know like maybe like a nickel size or something so that is how it looks cherry smell is really strong for me then make sure you take off any excess on the top because you don't want that product getting dry there I dip it into the water all right you guys and that is how it is lathering up Let's go into the skin. Feels really nice. Yeah, that was definitely enough. I think I probably took a little bit too much. Alright, I'm going to continue to just work it. Work it, work it, work it. And just start to massage it into my skin. It's definitely taking off some leftover makeup that I had on from last night and I'm basically gonna rinse my face right here if I need be I'll go to the bathroom and do it but this water is pretty fresh so I mean I got a little bit of redness probably just a little bit of reaction from um, the scent in there but my skin feels really nice very soft I definitely feel like I'm looking a lot more awake, okay? <laughs> when I got on here, I feel like I was looking dead, girl. So let's move on to the Fenty Skin Fat Water, which is supposed to be very helpful for people that have pores. Um, like I told you guys, my pores are more so on my nose. With her pore refining toner, you are not supposed to use a cotton pad. For one, that's to preserve product to use on clean skin. So after you use your Fenty Total Cleanser, it says apply over face with fingers. Is this another like, oh, okay. So we have another um, application just from the tops. I'm gonna put a little bit onto my fingertips. Let's see. Oh, I might have to push it out. I might have to like push it out a little bit. Oh yeah. So you do have to squeeze the bottle a little bit. I'm gonna start with three drops. Smear it on my fingertips like that and I'm gonna start working from the center and out oh that initial scent whew, I don't like how it smells but again it subsides when you start working it into your skin yeah the texture of this fat water is a little bit tacky once it dries but that's okay. Um, I'm used. I'm used to mine not being so tacky, but that's because I usually use a thinner formula. Being that this is a little bit thicker, it's a little bit tacky. So, the last and final step, of course, is your moisturizer, girl. You have to moisturize. So, this is a twist top, I believe. Yep, twist top. So we're gonna twist it up. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you how it looks when it pumps out. So let's get it pumping. All right. All right. So this is how it looks when it comes out like a really soft pink, basically. Hopefully, this is enough for your whole face. I just pumped out probably a little bit too much. So I'm just going to start from the center, put a little on my forehead. Oh my God, that scent. Uh, I know it's just like what it's made with, but geez, like it definitely hits you when you first put it on. Yeah, my skin definitely looks 
way more hydrated now by adding the moisturize on top the texture feels nice a little bit thick the sunscreen is a little bit thick but that's to be expected when it's a sunscreen and a moisturizer but it's going to be a little bit thick because you need the hydration Ooh. okay i really like how my skin is looking i like how my skin is how's my skin look you guys because you know i was looking dry and cruddy before and now I look hydrated like I'm gonna get my life but after this I would not stop here with these three products I definitely would go ahead and add an eye cream of course because you know being at 50 doesn't have an eye cream yet but as far as like the moisturizer like it feels pretty good and being that this is supposed to be an anti-aging moisturizer in some way I wouldn't have to double down and put on another moisturizer at all all right so let me go ahead and give you guys my initial thoughts about the new Fenty Skin Trio so first and foremost I like the cleanser it definitely made my skin feel like it just got rid of any excess dirt oil makeup that I had on um, don't know if I would let it be a two-in-one like I said earlier necessarily because I just wear too much makeup out a skincare line now with the fat toner like this as well but I kind of don't like the tackiness that comes behind it but my skin definitely felt great um, as far as my pores let me take a closer look oh my pores actually look smaller okay all right fat water all right because I swear I could see my pores like when before I was doing the cleansing part you can see my pores like they're really prominent on the side of my nose um just don't like the texture but if it gets the job done then baby I'll work it out and then of course for the last thing we have the hydro visor I surprisingly like this I love the duality of it being that it's hydrating and it gives you some protection um I did use a little bit too much so I would suggest that you guys use a little less but that was just me trying to show you guys how the product looks my skin looks hydrated it doesn't look oily like sometimes I'll put on a moisturizer and I'll look oily and I really love how it's settled into my skin it just goes deep and it starts penetrating right away some products tend to sit on top of the skin and not really penetrate and get underneath so I really really love that as well let me give you guys an update as far as the claims of the dark spot correcting because that is something very big to me because that is something I struggle with yeah let me know what you guys are thinking let me know did you purchase anything or were you waiting to see what people say to purchase anything I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments below so yeah you guys please make sure you go ahead and like comment and subscribe and of course follow me on all my social media platforms just in case you guys want to keep up with your girl off of YouTube you know definitely appreciate it so yeah you guys that's it Fenty Skin is here, honey, and I can't wait for the next product. So, yeah, guys, that's it, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. You a love hot girl. You a love